So I've been having some requests so of people wanting me to use the new Green Merlin, which I think is one of the worst things in the game right now. Uh, yeah, if they release a character, right, that actually works with her, then of course that would change, but right now, as we speak, might be actually the worst released character in so long. Uh, but her, she has, of course, the passive where increases all enemies damage taken from shock debuff by 25%. People want me to try her out with Blue, Hawk, and Oslo, which again is another character that's horrible, right? Which their passive is that increases damage the enemy takes from, uh, is, I believe, Shock, Bleed, and Poison only, not Corrosion. I'm actually looking them up on Grand Cross database right now. Yeah, it is. Only Poison, Bleed, and Shock debuffs by 35%. So stack that up with Merlin's passive. Her shock must be doing some nutty damage, right? Oh, actually, hmm. Should I use Merlin in the front? Given that Hendrickson is already gonna shock. Because I want to use Hendrickson, because he increases damage from debuff cards by 25. You know what? What if I... <laughs> what if I, instead of using Hendrickson, use Green Galfer? That is a risky move. But see, I... Hmm. I need three, right? I need three debuffs for it to take off one ultimate gauge. But do I need to take off one ultimate gauge? This is a real question. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put Hendrickson first. So we're gonna go with Hendrickson first. And then we're gonna change to Galfer. Because I, 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 I'm questioning... I'm, I'm questioning Merlin, honestly. Like, why would I use Merlin? But... If it has to be done... I think it both ways... Could be it. Either Hendrickson here, because again, I do want to increase the damage from the debuff cards by 50%. Um... But I also don't want to... Have two characters that have shock, because that's kind of pointless. Alright, we got a Margaret. Let's... let's... Seal Margaret from um, cleansing with Merlin, which is epic. Seal her for two turns, which is pretty epic. Very nice, seal for two turns. So the shock is there. I want to see how much damage I'm doing next turn here. Uh, with the King team, you're most likely using like level ones and stuff, but also I'm going to combine those Merlin cards and use level two just for science. Just for science purposes. He's attacking King. Mm, which means I should attack with King next turn. For healing. I mean, that wasn't... The worst. So, by the way, I... <laughs> last turn, I debuffed with Merlin after. Because it was just in case he had dodge food. But honestly, I should have... I should have... Um, I should have debuffed with Merlin first for the defense decrease, just YOLO'd. Oh, that was level one. Quite nice for damage release. Oh, oh no. I'm gonna have to kill Ascaran next turn. But he has a revive. Oh, I lost. Well, that was my incompetence. Honestly, I should have killed Ascaran first. Because I know he, he... Ascaran is a menace for King. Because I know that his his immunity is gonna be a pain in the ass to deal with. And even still I focused on Merlin. Merlin. I've even still I focused on Margaret. That is on me. That is not on Merlin. That's on me. That was a terrible move by me. A terrible strategy, decision, whatever you wanna call. By me. Cause next turn he's gonna be immune. But he, here's the thing, right? This is where I think I don't need Hendrickson. Because I think Green Galfer would have been a way better unit to have here. You know? I think so. I think so. I think Green Galfer would have been way better to have than Hendrickson. Because I already have the shock character. I need another one. I really don't need another one. <sighs> it's okay. You know what? Next, next one we're going to use the Galfer. 
But hey, that that release was good. I'm not gonna not gonna take it from there, you know. Not not gonna take any anything from that. Second try, all right. It's fine. We'll pretend that never happened. I'll, I learned. My, it's been a while since I used King for like for real. I don't, <laughs> especially because um, I was kind of scared that the debuff was gonna run out from Margaret, so I wanted to kill her fast. But honestly, there was no reason to uh, be so scared. With Galfrey, though, it's a bit less scary. So, we're gonna seal everyone. And you know what? I'm gonna seal Chandler from, from uh, with the upper stance. Why not? I think he combined his attack card so he can't debuff either because I, I sealed level 2's. The only thing he can do is he can debuff me with Gaffer and attack with Margaret. So for two turns here, he won't be able to actually use Chandler. Um, that won't work. Oh, oh, what? What card? Oh, his Margaret is the one to the left. Oh, I'm dumb. Okay, well. How much damage would this do? Can I kill Chandler here? He's gonna he's gonna lower my stats every time I attack. Oh, that's nice. Goodbye, Chandler. What does he have in the back? Bon? The one. Hmm. Won't let the same mistake happen again. We gotta kill the one quick. Um. Is he gonna level? Yeah, he's gonna double rank up in level three for Margaret. That's unfortunate. Uh, at least he won't be able to level three attack next turn, and his cards will de rank. But yeah, that's not good. What can I do here? I can go for the King Ultimate, right? And we're gonna attack Askenor here. Although I don't think I'm gonna do that much damage. Only one debuff, the shock. That was pretty good. That was actually quite good. You know? Because here's the thing. The, the whole thing about this combo thing, <laughs> thing, thing, is the, the release from King's attack, because... The more damage the debuff itself does, the more release the, the attack card will do. So the release aspect of it is doing actually pretty good. What are the odds King will actually kill Askenor? I'm hoping it will. Level 3 damage reduction. Yeah, I don't think that will kill Askenor. At least we're going to take off Margaret's uh, ultimate gauge next attack here. It did kill Askenor. Combined cards, no. Okay, thank you. But the ultimate from Goffer is going to hurt. It's really going to hurt. Level 3 damage increase still. Yeah, that hurt. As long as King doesn't die, oh. oh. Oof. That was close. Yeah, as long as King doesn't die, we're good. Because we're still going to have the thing. Okay, actually, this is better. Uh, do this. This, we're gonna have a better release here. Oh, never mind, because he quit. Okay, we got a Margaret Merlin Tarmiel team. Uh, well, I can uh, at some point seal the stances, so that's cool. If I can get level two here, but I think I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna just level one the the Margaret, and we're gonna. 
probably focus on Tarmiel or Merlin. Never mind, we're not gonna focus on anyone. See, I'm shredding these Margaret teams because this team is gonna shred Margaret, right? You have two buff sealers on your team. Like, Margaret's are gonna cry looking at this. They're not gonna have a single turn where they can buff. If you, if you play correctly, that you should not let them buff, right? So, it can go kind of crazy here against Margaret's. Well, I'm very scared to face, like... Of course, Bon. Um, of course, yeah. Bon, I'm gonna get shredded, destroyed, but... I'm very scared to face Assault Melee, actually. Because <laughs> I, I don't want to attack him <laughs> to debuff him. So that's gonna be a scary experience. Ooh, that hurt. Uh, we're gonna, of course, seal the Margaret. Debuff. I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna go for Merlin. Yeah, I, I was thinking of attacking Tarmio, but I think Merlin's my biggest... Should be my biggest priority here. I don't know why, but I feel like so. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna heal anything from that. Because I was sealed. My king is likely dead here. Unless he somehow didn't pull any Merlin cards, that would be fantastic. Uh, but yeah, he did, so. Ah, he's gonna die. He's gonna. <laughs> like, half my cards are gonna vanish. Mm. Okay. I am gonna need. Oh! Really? Was he just confident? That he was gonna kill my king with the AoE? Maybe he was. Maybe he was. Or maybe he just thought of trimming my uh, my numbers. Oh, I didn't have to seal. He was still sealed by Merlin. No. No, he was still sealed by Merlin. Not gonna lie, that that seal on the the healing from the from his Merlin was very annoying. <laughs> it, was, it was terrible for me. Mm. Okay, yeah, King's dead. He can kill my Merlin if he has like one Margaret attack. Oh, so close. Um. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do, right? <laughs> we're gonna seal his stances. <laughs> and we're gonna seal buff cards. <laughs> no more stances for you, big man. No stances for you. Oh! My cards on Merlin are gonna come by! Let's go! Please don't kill! No, he attack lowered me. That's unfortunate. But but watch this. I'm gonna I'm gonna He attack lowered me, but this should still kill. This should still kill. He attack lowered me plus he has damage reduction on AoEs because of because of uh, Liz, but lowering HP like Merlin's ultimate is fantastic. Lowering the HP before you actually hit is just so brutal. Man, if you can get if I can get two more Margaret teams and have like a clean victory video here, that would be fantastic. That would be lovely. I still don't know if I would recommend the team because you know. But it's going it's going good. We go oh. See, this is where it starts to get scary. But Oh if only I could if only I could seal the freaking debuffs with this team. But I can't. 
Because, like, the biggest issue here... Not the biggest one, but a big issue is the debuffs. Like, the, the buff ceiling is nice, I guess, because no shield. But that's it. Like, if I could seal Merlin's debuff or the freeze, that would be huge. This is why... Ah, this, this, she should have been able to seal debuffs. This is why Slater's card is so good. Slater seals everything. <laughs> uh, should have got like Slater's card. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um. Okay, we're gonna go for this, this. And this, actually. I was gonna go for um, attacking Liz there with level 2. Hmm. Why did I think I had a debuff card with her? I mean, that was debuff card. I thought I had her AoE. I actually thought I had her AoE. I... I think I need to go to bed. I'm tired. I, I legitimately thought I had her AoE. I clearly didn't. I clearly did not. That is unfortunate. But... 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 You attack lore, right? No, you don't. <laughs> you don't. Ah, uh, the, the second attack should kill, right? You don't attack lore. I don't have a takeoff ultimate gauge method at all. I'm sorry. I'm not talking in the front. I'm talking in the front. I don't have an attack. Uh, um, Take off ultimate gauge method in the front at all. Yeah, Merlin is uh, a problem. Yeah. I don't think the uh, added damage on shock was very nice here as an effect. To be fair though, if you face a Margaret, you're gonna have a really good time. If you don't, not so good <laughs> is the verdict. Not so good, but against Margaret's pretty good. <laughs> 